Saturday morning after my live on Friday night. This is not an impromptu video. This is a recorded video. But I wanted to sit down and do some more work in this reverse collage book. I have my coffee. Oh. Morning coffee. Can't be beat. I wanted to work some more in this. Last night in our live session, we worked on this page. And I want to do some detailing and put the quote on it. I will ask you to please forgive my messy hands. I tried to clean them as much as I could. What I want to do is I've been working in the Somerset Doll magazine. This was passed along to me by Gina Ahrens. And I've been doing Dee Dee Willingham's reverse collage technique. And it was cut in half in the same fashion as Dee Dee does hers. So the top half of the page is going to be at the front of the book and the bottom half of the page is going to be at the back of the book right here. This one I worked on last night. I'm really having fun with these pages. I want to put a quote on that. If you look on the the art doll, the I'm I'm leaving the art doll itself untouched. I want to leave the artist who did this. I'm going to leave her art alone. And I'm, in this case, I'm leaving the art sale shopping for Dream Dolls text alone so that it tells what's going on on this page. But I'm also leaving the artist who created this doll alone, too. I'm not painting over it. I want to have the person that created this art doll be credited for creating it. I'm just coming in and doing an altered book around this using the reverse collage. Let me show you one that already has been finished. I did this one, I believe, last week or the week before. I can't remember what week we did this on, but this is a finished page. This is, this is where I'm going with this entire book. I do the reverse collage on the page layout. Then I'm putting a quote on here. This one uh, was, the title of it was Dare to Wish, so I made three wishes, and then I did some doodling with my fine line paint applicator. So that's the three techniques that I'm going to do in this book. I'm not going to be adding photos or collaging anything in, but I'm not going to be adding more bulk to this book. I want it to stay relatively flat. This is the page that I'm going to work on today. And looking at the bottom of this doll, she had used Scrabble tiles and spelled out the word dream. And that led me to the song, I think it was the Everly Brothers, that said, whenever I want you, all I have to do is dream, 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 dream. That's kind of like a 50s song. So that's what the quote that I'm going to put on here is, and I use my Dymo label maker, and this is a metallic paper. You can get all sorts of different papers to put in those label makers. I'm having more fun with the label maker. So I'm going to put the quote on here. All I have to do... is dream, 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 dream. So what am I going to doodle on here? I like, this is, this is black and white striped in here, and I have my black fine liner and my white fine liner, and it's kind of like a curved border, and I think I'm going to do that around the border of this page, but before I do that, is there anything I want to do? Maybe something in there, maybe a circle? And write the word dream in it. <laughs>
that I'm working on in my live sessions is this Childcraft How and Why Library. This is volume 13. It was published in 1974 and it's all about art. And I've been doing reverse collage on the pages and in this book I've been adding black and white photos that I find that I think correlates with the art on the page. In this case, there's an artist in the studio and he's working on a painting and I found this photograph of a young girl drawing circles on her page. And then I leave the text alone, try to, so that you can read what's going on on the page. So I have a lot of pages done in here. We are getting this book finished, but I have a lot that needs to be worked on as far as detailing the pages and finishing them up. So that's what I want to do on this page. This is the photograph. This photograph came out of the Reminisce magazine. This page is all about flight and flying and dreaming of different ways to fly, probably before jet planes were invented. But look, this man has wings here. And I thought that it would be really fun to put this photograph right there so it looks like the wings are coming out of his brain. <laughs> I thought that was really fun. I could perhaps trim this off just a little bit more in here. I got those tools. I like those tools. But I want the wings to show because I want that that wing of this photograph to show and it's covered up a lot by the that tool set behind this man so i think that's what i'm going to do <laughs> Thank you. 